Yo YouTube, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today, man. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys into Premiere Pro to show you guys some music video effects that I've recently been doing for some music videos. I haven't done a music video effects video at all, actually, too, so I really just haven't done it. So today, I'm just going to be showing you guys a few effects that I personally like to do. They're very simple effects, but yeah, let's head over to the computer and get started. All right, so I have this clip of um, a music video that I shot for an artist by the name of Mick Mason. Super dope song. I really enjoyed editing this video. The footage looked great. Um, I currently don't have it colored, but in the beginning of the song, you can hear when his verse starts, you can hear these kicks throughout the, like when his verse starts. So it goes like, doom, doom. So it goes, boom, boom. So you got these two kicks right here. And this goes throughout the, like this whole part right here. And it ends right there. And then you got these three kicks right here. So what we could do at this first kick is we could do, I'm gonna go to the end of this first kick like that. And then I'm gonna drop on a horizontal flip and then drag that onto this clip. Actually, hold on. Cut it right here. Horizontal flip. And then now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna keyframe this clip right here. Set a um, keyframe for scaling position and motion. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale this up a lot, like 170, like so. Drag those keyframes to the end of your clip. I don't like how it goes out of focus there, so. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to where I put this horizontal flip on. I'm gonna go to that clip and I'm gonna drop on an effect called levels. Boom, like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, so I'm going to set a keyframe for that. I'm gonna move this like this way. Now I'm gonna just go every two frames. So one, two, just bring that like that. And then what you can do is you can just con command C these keyframes, then go, and you can just go one, two, paste. Paste those keyframes. Control C. One, two. Paste those keyframes. And now I'm just gonna drag these a little bit to the right. Cause we're cut, we're we're pretty much cutting back into the same clip. So we wanted to make it we want to give the clip some more motion and some more like sauce. So I added this flash effect to make it seem like this the clip that is cutting to is a different clip. So alright, so I think what I want to do now is I'm gonna duplicate this clip. Let's see like right here. I'm gonna duplicate it right here, cut it right here, boom. And then I'm gonna go up to my opacity tool and I'm just gonna create a mask around Mick. Just go around his body. It could be a rough mask too. It really, it really doesn't have to be super precise. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm not really trying to perfect it, but if you're actually doing a music video, I would try and spend a little bit more time doing the mask tool just because it really plays off in the, in the end. But typically I do my mask tool in After Effects because Premiere's pen tool is just, it's just finicky sometimes. So I, I, I usually don't like to use it, but it's never really a big deal. So now what I'm gonna do is, once you, once you have it masked out, I'm gonna go to the clip and then I'm gonna right click and then add frame hold. So as you can see, we have this clip on the bottom, but you have that mask of him right there. I like to play with my blend modes too. So I'm gonna try and see what screen looks like. Overlay looks nice. It kind of gives you that like it kind of gives you just like a jitter effect almost so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set a keyframe for position on my uh, freeze frame clip and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna move it around and see what i can do with it just to give it like almost like a jitter oh yeah that looks sick so i don't know what you would call this effect but it looks super dope for like high energy stuff you just add that freeze freeze frame set it to overlay and it gives you almost like a like a jitter effect but that's a super dope effect that i i, I enjoy doing um it's almost like a ghost effect but it's just on his body if that makes sense all right cool so i, I want to do something with this clip as well i kind of want to cut it where it goes out of focus um i'm just going to bring in another clip this clip isn't uh, synced up with audio but it's okay but what i'm going to do for this clip is i'm going to I'm going to do like a speed ramp at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this effects like button right there. I'm going to go to time remap and then the speed. And then I'm going to see where I would want my speed. See where I would want this speed ramp. Let's see right here. 
See how that looks. If you want to like make this make the speed ramp smoother too, all you do is click on these like little buttons right here, and then you just adjust this right here like so, and then you just curve that out like that. I think I want it to be a little slower though. I think 300 is just a little too intense, so I'm gonna bring it down to like 218 and see how that looks. And then we'll bring these closer together and then bring it more towards the end. Yeah, that looks dope. I want to add something where that speed ramp is too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to nest this clip. Then I'm going to bring it up like this, duplicate it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's see, 150, speed it up by 150. Then bring it back like right there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to delete that. Go here. I'm going to go back one, two, three, 15 frames. And what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna do like a like a Gaussian blur. I'm gonna just do like a really quick blur. I'm gonna set a keyframe for blurriness at the beginning, and then I'm gonna go to like the middle of the clip, and then I'm gonna boost that up a lot, and then go back to the end of the clip, go to the end of the clip, and reset these. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks dope. It's just very simple. It's just a very simple effect. So. What I'm gonna do now is, so I wanna add a little bit more energy to it though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, I'm gonna do like transform, I'm gonna duplicate that. Actually, no, we don't have to duplicate it. So I'm gonna add like a transform effect like this, not on that clip, on, on the duplicated clip. Check on that transform effect. Uncheck that, bring that up to 180. I'm not gonna set a lot of keyframes. Honestly, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do position and scale, set a keyframes for that. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna scale it up, boom, bring him right there, let's see how that looks, and then let's reset those parameters, actually I think I want to have it kind of go to the right too, so boom, we'll have it go to the right, scale, bring that to the right, and let's see how that looks. That looks sick. I like that a lot. Actually, I'm gonna adjust this transform again. I'm gonna delete these keyframes right here. About right here. I'm just gonna have it reset and see how that looks. Cause I don't really like the motion it had, to be honest. Like once I rendered it out, I really saw the motion. I didn't really like it. Cause I kind of want to have. I kind of like that actually. It's like just a little punch in. I like that actually. Yeah, I like this punch in more, to be honest and then it comes back out. All right, cool, that looks dope. And then I wanna do something with this clip as well. So it goes, oh no, it does, like the west side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keyframe this clip. I, I typically always keyframe clips too, just to give them like extra motion. So I'm gonna keyframe this to like 133, position him more in the center of the frame. Hmm, that looks sick. And you know what? I think I'm gonna add another levels effect onto this clip right here. I want to do one right here. So set a keyframe for that. Bring this up like that. Then go one, two. Reset that. Bring it back up there. And then at the end of your clip, just reset it like so. Set a keyframe for the beginning of the clip too. Set that to 255. Yeah, I like that. It's a quick flash. It's kind of like you don't really know what's going on with that transition, but it's dope. Like it's it's a blur and then a, it's just a simple blur and then a flash, honestly, in the transform effect. And then what I'm gonna do for this clip is I'm gonna add on the levels to kind of fade that blur or that, um, that flash out. So boom, like that. And then I'm just gonna go here, boom, reset it. Yeah, that looks sick. So I wanna try. I want to try to do one thing so i'm gonna i'm gonna drag these clips out drag these keyframes to the end for both of them because what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna speed ramp them so i'm gonna delete this duplicated clip actually really quick and then i'm just gonna speed ramp this clip at the end of it so go here boom bring the speed up right on this kick right here drag it to the kick drag this out and then smooth that out drag that to the end i think i want to have a little bit more of that 
of like the sped up part of it. So I'm gonna drag this back just a little bit and then I'm gonna cut it right there at that kick. Let's see how this looks. I think I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit more. Yeah, that looks sick. All right, cool. So let's nest this clip, boom. And then I'm gonna duplicate this clip like that, boom. Then I'm gonna speed this clip up. 150, right, let's just do, let's do 120. Drag that, boom, screen. You can see it gives a, it gives like that like ghost effect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, actually I'm gonna do 130, just to really emphasize that effect. Drag it back here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this for lighten actually. And then I'm gonna bring that opacity down just a little bit. Drop on arithmetic like that. And then I think I'm gonna set this one to add. Let's see what add looks like. Mm, yeah, that looks sick. So, and then I'm gonna drag on a crosses off over over the whole clip. So I'll put that on there. Have it kind of fade in a little bit. So I think I want to even. We could even like right on this kick right here. We could even have it scale up a little bit, and then reset it. Yeah, dude, that looks sick. All right, cool, that looks sick. I'm gonna bring in just a random clip from a music video I shot a couple weeks ago. Mind you, this clip is not colored either. So. So, boom. So I'm gonna cut it right there at that kick. So what we could do for this one, I like his motion right here. Beforehand, I'm gonna keyframe these clips, or this clip. I want his head to be more in the center of the frame at the end of this clip. So I'm gonna bring that towards the center. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, let's add on an echo effect. So I'm gonna type in echo, drop on an echo effect. Mind you, this clip it is gonna make your clip brighter. So I'm gonna bring down the intensity to like 0 0.5, like that. And then I'm gonna bring up my number of echoes, but you, you'll still have to adjust the intensity once you bring that up. So I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit more. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a mask. I'm gonna do like a mask for this echo effect. I'm gonna just do like a triangle. So boom, boom, and then boom. And then I'm gonna invert this, and then we're gonna bring our intensity down more to kind of match that clip. Point two is perfect. And then what I'm, I'm gonna feather that out. So as you can see, if we go down our clip, let's render this out really quick. Now that you see we have this on there, like once you do that mask, you can, it's like his body isn't echoing, but like what's around him is echoing. So as you can see, his hand right here is echoing, and then once he puts his head through the mask, he's that's echoing, um, and then the background's echoing. So I really like this effect. So I'm gonna feather that out just a little bit because you can kind of see, you can still kind of see like the edges a little bit. So I'm gonna render that out. So that's a really dope effect. I really like that. I would honestly leave it like that, to be honest. Like that looks so sick. The echo effect looks so sick. All right, cool. So we have this echo effect. I really love doing this effect. The echo is like one of my favorites, favorite effects. It just adds like a super, I don't know. It's just a super intriguing effect. Like, all right, cool. I'm gonna use this clip again. I'm gonna just take this stuff off, get rid of these keyframes. And I'm gonna do like almost like an earthquake effect. So what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna duplicate this clip like so. Let's start at the beginning of the clip. And then we're gonna go and set a keyframe, click the stopwatch, set a keyframe for position. I'm gonna just bring my opacity down to like 50%. And then I'm going to move that kinda to the left. And then go another frame to the right, one more frame to the left. And you just keep repeating this process until you feel like you have enough of the earth earthquake effects. So, and then what you could do is you could just select these keyframes, go one frame, paste those, boom. Very simple effect. I, I usually like to do these earthquake effects on kicks though, but very simple effect, honestly. 
It's a, um, the earthquake effect adds a lot of energy too. And doing it this way is just the simplest way to do it. That's typically how I do it in music videos as well. You can do it with wave warp, but I typically just like to do it with position because it does the same thing. So yeah, that is the earthquake effect. I really enjoyed that effect. I'm going to do one more effect, um, that I've been doing like for every music video. So I'm going to duplicate this clip like so, and then we're going to do the same thing we just did for like the echo effect. So I'm going to create a triangle. Actually, no, no, no. Let's drop on directional blur on the top clip, not the bottom clip. Drop that on the top clip. And then we're gonna bring our blur length up and we're gonna change the direction a little bit. I want this to be kind of intense. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another triangle. This one's gonna be a little wider and then connect that. Go down to inverted, check that. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my mass feather up just to get rid of those edges. And now you see we have this like blurry edged like effect. I really love this too because when it's almost similar to the echo effect because when his hand like if one of his body parts go in there you can see like the directional blur kind of going off his hand right there. So I kind of want to bring it down just a little bit. I don't want it to be too intense. I kind of want it to be subtle. So honestly right there would be perfect. And then you can always play around with your direction as well to get the look you're going for. So I think I want to have it this at like negative 48. And boom, dude. That is it. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Make sure you guys crush that like button. Drop me a comment down in the comment section if you guys would like to see more tutorials from me. Make sure you guys click that notification bell to get notifications when I upload to this channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.